Hello everyone, welcome to Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Today we'll be featuring, of course, Lisa Eldred's lipsticks. However, uh, I didn't, I haven't shown you all the colors of our collection because there are many and because I was not in YouTube as they were coming out, you know, it was just too long for me to wear all of them. And so I have tried, for example, her first launch, which was um, the True Velvets, which is the three reds, you know, the jazz, the morning, and the ribbon. And then I show you the loosened kind of, which is a different texture than the velvet lipsticks. And I show you a, a video showing you the difference and all or most of her loosened colors. But then there was all these other velvet colors left. And I did show six that she launched in another video. However, today I was like, what, how should I structure to show you the rest of them? And so what I decided to do is to showcase what is in stock right now in her website. So as you know, a lot of it is out of stock and then she brings it back. Her inventory uh, twice a year has been, you know, like in, in the spring and then like October, November is in the fall. And she has come out with new colors and then with new products. Uh, but she does this twice a year so far. And so today, uh, if you haven't heard from her or if you just heard from her or if you just wanna try some of her products, what is available, that's what we're doing today. And really, it's only five lipsticks and uh, three glasses. And so I don't know if I'll go through all the glasses, at least I'll talk about it. But the five colors that are in stock right now is Velvet Beauty, Velvet Carnival, Velvet Dragon, uh, Velvet Muse, and Velvet Fawn. So you decide if there's something that you want to try. And from what I hear, she's also going to be coming out with a tinted moisturizer, which that's going to be probably fabulous uh, for more every day. And she's coming up with some eyeshadows and with some eye brushes. At least that's what I've seen online. There's some pictures and some hints here and there. Obviously, I'm not affiliated with her or know for firsthand, but that's that's what is being out in the air about. Um, today, I am wearing her new foundation uh, in number seven, and I have a video applying it. And then I am wearing some Surat eyeshadows, uh, which there's also a video how I apply those. And the reason I got this ones, which I mentioned there, was because in one of her first lunch or first lunches of her lipsticks, she was wearing this colors and everybody was curious. So she mentioned what to wear. And of course I went and got them. And that's how I was introduced really to the Surat beauty line, which I like because uh, they have one of my favorites uh, foundations. So, and other items, of course. So I'm grateful about that. So anyhow, let's continue now. Uh, before I start with the lipsticks, as you're aware, I try a new fra fragrance for every video. And even though this one is specific for these lipsticks that I'm gonna be showcasing, I didn't wanna not feature a, uh, a fragrance Eau de Parfum. And of course, since it's Lisa Eldridge, how could I have not <laughs> chosen one of those long lasting, known, forever antique because she's very big on this, you know, arts and, and how she creates her, her uh, makeup line and, and, you know, her inspiration. At least that's what she has shared on social media. So I chose the Chanel number five, of course. Yes, yes, I know uh, some people believe that this is kind of old school, but that is the point, old school. You know, one of those things that endure. Marilyn Monroe says she only wore this to bed. So, I mean, come on, how can you not? Of course, you know me, I always have small bottles, smallest that I can get because I have so many, or I like to have so many choices because my mood changes that way. And so I always get the smallest just to be able to smell it when I want to. Um, yes, this is a fragrance that is interesting. I mean, 
I don't know if I would like it if I didn't know the whole fuss about Chanel number no. five and it's still going. I do own the new uh, number no. five, Le Esu, Le Esu, something like that. That's the newest that they kind of made this number no. five a little more subdued, a little less old lady like because now this is qualified as that i guess because everybody my age which now i'm considering how to you know i'm i'm turning 50 pretty soon uh people my age remember their parents or great parents wearing this so now we associate it with with older no right with older age but that doesn't mean necessarily uh it is very powdery yes but uh, there's something to it i mean it's interesting because my mother-in-law was big on this one that's all she wore so yes i have that memory as well and it reminds me of older age older generation but who knows right maybe we bring it back i mean there's all this vintage um uh, happening and being trendy and bringing the old to the new so i'm gonna spray a little bit Oof. I think I sprayed too much, but that's okay. Because this is, I'm sorry, I'm always taken by the fragrances, if you notice. Yeah, I'm that volatile or vulnerable or sensitive. Mm, you know, it's just something very classic and nice. This is, um, there is that soapy smell, which probably was very into clean smell. Probably why it got to be so big and, and nice, you know, like uh, I always imagine a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated woman in front of a vanity, you know, one of those old vanities with the with the old shaped mirror powdering. You know, remember those cases with the big powder? There was a big sponge They used to be expensive and, and, you know, not everybody could afford it. And then you kind of put it like that and just kind of powder yourself and, and, and it had that smell. Uh, I don't know if you got the chance to experience that, but it was just a, a smell of cleaning as elegant, just beautiful. And this totally brings me back to that experience. And so I like it, I like it a lot. Um, I, I can imagine actually, you remember those silver made out of mirror, you pull it out of the mirror and then the big brush and then you used to kind of like brush your hair right before going to bed, you know, that looks serious kind of. I mean, if you didn't experience at least that's how the movies were also, you know. And I don't know about you, but on my day cleaning up or decluttering, you know, houses and my in-laws when, when they pass or uh, my grandparents, you always come up with that brush and mirror silver kind of already rusted or being bad. I, I wish I had kept them because now I'm getting into that. Maybe I'll, I'll look for one, um, but I'm getting into that kind of mood, at least with this fragrance. Mm, yes, it's nice. I don't think, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know how other people will react. I know a lot of them, they feel is for old age. I already said this, but look how cute that Chanel logo is in there and the bottle. I mean, it's just epic, epic. All right, moving on. Let's move on. I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> but it's Lisa Eldridge. Yes, I know. <laughs> so much excitement. All right, so let's begin what I'm wearing right this minute. What I'm wearing right this minute, and you know I like to start with the kind of um, less color per se, or the lightest color of the whole uh, products or lipsticks I'm going to wear. This one I'm wearing Fawn, Velvet Fawn. So I don't know what you think. There's this brownish, orangey, um, you know, less swatch, for example. Uh, the brand new, this is not in stock, but this one was a winner for me in my skin color. This is Intrigue. And um, I actually was not going to order Intrigue, even though it has been a hit for me, uh, because I thought it was going to be even lighter than this. And so I was not excited about that. And uh, 
and I'm glad I did because this has a little bit more pink. Well, let's see, let's see here in camera. So this is fawn, and to me, it was too neutral brown. So see, this neutral brown, I felt it just didn't do anything for me. It kind of washed me out, not totally, but I just felt if I would wear this, I would have to have copper or orange or brown eye shadows. And at least browns, I don't wear it that often. I, I usually go more for copper, orangey or pinks. Uh, but this brown thing, it's not necessarily my look. Uh, and so this kind of lipstick, I didn't think I would wear it that often. Actually, I haven't wear it that often. This is the intrigue, a little more pink. But, you know, now because of right now the trend is all this chocolate, browns, um, I'm starting to like it even more and more. I mean, I just did a, a whole look with the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, which is this very neutral brown uh, sort of color. And, uh, and so it, it goes with all of that, which reminds me, so this is fun. Uh, reminds me that I just tried, I don't know if you saw one of my short videos, the Sicily um, twist on eyeshadow, I mean eyeliner in navy. And I don't know why I didn't try it today, but uh, I have found, I saw it in YouTube from somebody that they were wearing very neutral brownish colors and they apply this as an eyeliner instead of brown. And it totally uplifted the look, I guess, because of the blue eyes, instead of bringing all these browns to my eyes, uh, that navy blue, it almost looks black, but it has that bluish tone combined with the beige and browns. It just looked gorgeous. So, you know, FYI. All right. So here it is. So this is the, the color found. Now, let me remove this and I'm going to come back with a new color. Okay, so I am back. Now, this is the color Velvet Muse. I actually like this color quite a lot. Velvet Muse. Now, let's try it right here. Oh, need to learn how to do this properly. <laughs> So this is Muse, next to it, Fawn. All right, so this is Fawn and this is Muse. A little more red, a little more pink. You see, I can see how this two, the Intrigue and this, have something to them. Those um, antique or vintage, uh, arts that she usually gets memorized by you know all those colors of the flowers um, i can see that through her line and so there you have it i think it's very nice again i don't think when she launched this ones are the best for my skin color however uh, they nevertheless they they give the elegance i mean there's the elegance there I mean, right now I'm wearing black, but if I was wearing a more bluish uh, or brown, I think it would uh, stand out a little more. So there you have it. All right. So Muse. I'll be right back. Okay. So now we have Beauty, Velvet Beauty. Now we're getting more up my alley. Why? Because it's not that very nude, very faded away sort of look. It's just not my style. I know it's big trend right now. And I know, for example, for uh, you guys who have more blonder, blonde hair, it just looks beautiful. But with my contrasting, I think I need a little pop or with my yellowish undertone, I need a little bit uplifting. <laughs> Something that contrasts my eyes. So this one is Velvet Beauty. And of course, I feel beautiful. 
And just notice how with one swipe, it really covers, it really gives you that velvet look, right? It's so beautiful. So this is beauty. I like it. Do you? All right, so we're gonna continue. All right, we're back with Velvet Dragon. I really like this color a lot. So let's do it right here. So this is Velvet Dragon, which is what I'm wearing. And I just wanted to compare it to her new release, which is Velvet Cinnabar. Just so you see the comparison. So I can't do it with my left hand, guys. Let's see. Oh. All right. So this is her new release, Cinnabar. And this one is Velvet Dragon. Um, and I want to try uh, Velvet Morning. Okay. So we're going to try it right here. Okay, yeah. So Velvet Morning, Velvet Cinnabar, and Velvet Dragon, which is what I'm wearing. And Velvet Dragon, you see, is a little more fall-like. Velvet Morning is a little more sunshine, <laughs> more summer bright, you see? So I really like this color because it is more kind of that bright orange, but fall, right? At least with what I'm wearing today, it's just lovely. Like I will wear this for sure. So far from everything I have tried, I like this one. Now, would I wear Cinnabar today? Uh, maybe for night, because right now for um, right now is morning. So I prefer this one, it's a little more brighter. This one seems a little more evening. What do you guys think? And remember, I'm featuring the lipsticks that are on stock right now in her website. So you can get this and this is a every day. I wouldn't wear morning right now in the fall. It's just too much, even for here for Miami, because it's not so sunny and, and bright and going. It's a little more cooler and just, but it's still bold, it's still very beautiful, right? All right, so we have one more. We're gonna try now Carnival, which is in the pinks. So I'll be right back. Okay. This is Carnival. How beautiful, right? Yes, probably not in the mood for for the fall, but it could still kind of work. One of you guys mentioned you guys had Skype, uh, Skype Creeper, I think, what is it called? You know how bad I am with names. I apologize for that. I mean, yes, you would think, how can you go in a YouTube channel talking about makeup products, which they all is important to have their names, their shades and everything else. Well, I understand that part. I'm working on it. I'm working hard on it. <laughs> but I enjoy makeup, what can I tell you? The good news is that you can always look below. All right, so here it is, Scott Raper Rose. Okay, that is Skyscraper Rose. Not on stock right now, but compared to Carnival, which is what I am wearing, wearing. Okay, there you go. So the top one is Carnival. 
This one is Carnival. And this one is Skyscraper. So they look similar, yes, yes. But this one is a little more, I, don't, I wouldn't say red, but darker. I don't know if you can tell. This one is more carnival-like, <laughs> more fun, more uh, youth, more. This one I think is a little deeper, a little closer in, a little more serious. This one is a little more in the fun, um, which is what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, more informal, you can say. Uh, I don't know, 80s, fluorescent, <laughs> you remember? Uh, those, this will go perfect. You remember those neon sort of colors, but in an elegant sort of way. And I'm sorry from all these boobs, I have a big dog. And playing with a big dog, Jesus, it's not gentle. And he tries to be gentle, my poor guy. But <laughs> every time we're playing, you know, I have to end the game because I have to say, okay, I can't do it. He's a, a great, a giant of the Pyrenees. It's a long story. But imagine a giant in the Pyrenees in Miami and an indoor dog. Of course, he's outside most of the time, but he, he's indoors. So you can imagine, but we love him to death. So that those are, and that's why you always see me with, you know, this is one of her canine teeth bumping into my arm. All right, so there you have it. So this is Carnival. With that, we are ending uh, the lipsticks that are on stock. I hope this is helpful. Um, and now I'm gonna try just three uh, glosses uh, because these are the ones that are on stock that I own. She, she has a little bit more on stock, I think, but uh, I don't own them. So I do own seven of them. And so from that seven, these three are in stock. So we have Charm. We have Love, oh no, uh, Go Lightly. And we have Blush. So very good uh, combo in the sense of look how different the, the colors are, right? So if I'm wearing something peachy or I wanna bring peachy to my look, obviously Go Lightly. Uh, if I wanna bring a little pinkish, I go with charm. And if I want something more neutral, a little stronger, I bring uh, blush. Now, the one that I am waiting for and I wish I had uh, gotten is the petal. Petal is from her new release. Petal is a little more pinkish. So if I had the, the choice between this charm and petal, I probably will get petal, but that doesn't mean I would like it better uh, because I don't know. You know, sometimes you think something is going to be nicer or better and then you order it and you realize that the previous work, but this one works fine in that pinkish arena. So uh, this Goat Lightly, there was a loosened lipstick that used to go with this. And I don't know, she didn't bring it back. She didn't bring it back. And um, it was a pair with Love of My Life. That Love of My Life is a lipstick more in the pinkish and it was paired with Go Lightly. And then, uh, you know, when, when she was supposed to restock it, she did not restock that one. She brought uh, Miss Cheap Kitten instead. And, he, and she said that it, they were very similar and that that's what she replaced it with and that's what she was going with, with just a little more peachy and, uh, and neutral. So good enough, I have that one. And then I pair it with this and you know, there you have it. So let's try, um, well, before I take this off, let me put the, the charm, this charm, yes. I'm gonna put a little bit of charm on top of this. And just so you see how it enhances the lipstick. And then of course I'll take it all off and try the, the glass by itself. Now, you're not supposed to do what I'm doing, which is apply directly from the wand because you stain it and then you bring that color in. But you know, I don't mind. I don't care. I'm not mixing that with other people. It's not gonna be mixed with, <laughs> you know, I don't have to be that precise where if it stains a little bit, it'll kill. 
Um, but look, it brought depth, it brought elegance, it brought sweetness, softness. And that's just with the pink. If I wanted to bring a little more peach because I put peach in my cheeks, I would have wore the peachy one. Now, one thing I didn't do, which uh, I talked to some of you through the comments, is this idea of applying a little bit of the lip color, when it's, especially when it's this bright, to the, to the cheeks. And I wish I would have remembered and do it for my lips, but since I didn't, I'm just gonna take a little bit, just because I'm starting to look a little pale. And I think it's because of the amount of time I've been wearing my makeup, but also when you wear bold lipsticks, you know, um, make sure you have enough blush because if not, the bold of the lipstick will make you look watch, what's down or watch up. And I like very light blush, but it is true. Even if I was wearing a very light lipstick, this will help out because again, the light colors don't look good on me. So I'm applying a little bit just to you see how it changes the whole look of the bold lipstick. Obviously, I like it better. I hope you do too. But also, since I'm going to be trying the glasses, you know, a little more color in my cheeks will help since uh, I will have minimal color in my lips. But definitely adding gloss to a look to me it enhances. Um, if you're going to a red carpet, which is not my experiences <laughs> nor I see it in the near future um I don't I, I prefer putting a little gloss whatever I will go it just brings more youthful and I'm not respecting a certain look that goes with matte or with completely velvet and so I like to wear a little bit of gloss these glosses in particular being warmth to your lips they're very glossy, uh, I, I wouldn't say creamy because I don't feel like cream and I don't feel like oil perhaps, like some of my, I have some glosses that are kind of protective, like, you know, like a Dior that is like this or the Clarins, which I really recommend for, let me see if I find it here. Look how loved it is, it's almost empty. Uh, I love this thing which is the Clarins um, Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. So these are more oil and I don't, this doesn't feel the same. Um, this feels a little more comfortable for wearing out or for eating or drinking, but it does give that warmth to the lips. It gives that gloss, of course, elegance. And um, it makes you feel luxurious. It, it reminds you that you are your face is made up or that you are made up, right? All right, enough with the bobbling. I'm going to go take this off. The reason I keep going on and on is I don't want to take this off. That's the truth. <laughs> but I'll be right back and we'll try the three glasses. Okay, I'm back. So I'm not wearing from the lightest to the stronger. I'm going now downwards. So this is probably the one with the most color. This is blush. Look how beautiful, you can still see the color. So yeah, if you're just gonna be bare skin or bare and wanna wear something in your lips, this will be perfect. This is a little glossier that I would like it just for that purpose. But it gives you the shine, it gives you a little bit of tint, it gives you that warmth, it's protecting your lips. So very nice. And I'm not wearing any lip liner on purpose because I want you to see the color and how it looks. But if you add a little bit of uh, lip color, let's say I have here Blush Lightly, uh, which is Lisa's Eldritch lip liner. I'm not featuring any because I think they're all out of stock. Maybe not, but at least the ones I'm interested on. Which one I'm interested on? Petal. Because uh, I don't have anything pinkish from her. I only bought the colors that are bolder, like Cinnabar. And then I have, of course, a fair, which she recommended for, for very light kind of lipsticks. And then of course I have um, 
light. What is it? Something lightly. I always forget about how it is, but I think it's blush lightly. Um, so look, it, it automatically enhanced the look, right? So I'm going to come back to try the next lightest shade, which is Charm. So this one was blush. And now I'm going to try Charm, which is a little lighter. And I will swatch all three. I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm back. So this is Charm, just a little pinkish to it. So I really wonder how this compares to Petal. If you have both, let me know. Probably Petal will be a little more pink, softer. So it might not even, again, be of my liking, but I would never, I don't think I will wear this on its own. Maybe, I mean, I do use some lip tints or some lip moisturizers that have less color than this, and I like them. But this is just, I think, too light for me. Now, I do want to swatch this for you. So I'm going to make a little space here right next to the bold colors. So let's see. Do you see that color? Yeah, you can tell. So that's Charm. I will swatch all three and then I'll try the last gloss. So this one is the one I just tried on. And that one was, see, I can't even remember already. And you know, I knew it, blush. So that's blush, charm. And now go lightly. Again, go lightly. I really just wear on top of lipsticks when I want to bring a little more peach to my look. And that's go lightly. So these two, I really use them on top of lipsticks. And then this one, uh, I, you could wear it for every day for just, but just imagine how this one will enhance this or this. Yes, I understand you, you would never think, but you'll be surprised because they're glasses. They just give a little tint. And these lipsticks have a lot of mixture of colors already. So, well, in my opinion, it just doesn't, I was gonna say my humble opinion, and I'm not a makeup artist, but so last, I'm gonna go remove this and look at the last color. Be right back. All right, so here you have it, go lightly. <laughs> it's too light for me, but it does give you that peachy look. Maybe you like it. Hey, people like this kind of very fair nude sort of thing. It has this place, it has this look, but definitely gives you that shine, definitely gives you that warmth to the lips. So just beautiful products. Uh, tell me what you think. This is the time that I ask you to subscribe if you haven't already, to please press the bell on your right hand corner uh, if you wanna see when I upload new videos. Uh, to please comment and request and suggest below. I have follow your requests for sure and your questions. Um, and there you have it. I hope you're enjoying how the new set, the new look is coming along. I know some of you missed the old background, but uh, um, it's a work in progress and the kitties will start coming. I know uh, today we have my little uh, Blanky, that's his name. Oh, whoops, I woke him up. <laughs> he did not like being behind. I usually put him next to me and he prefers that. Um, but I don't have room here, so I put a place there for him. Let's see how that gets along. So anywho, I'm sure you're gonna start seeing all my pets, but uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah.